Assumption has been a mainstay at the state softball tournament, looking for their eighth straight semifinals appearance. Assumption getting ready for the Sadell Eagles. Start off in the bottom of the first inning. Assumption's first batter, Jesse Wardlow, leading off with a double into left field. She'd steal third and score on a pass ball. Great start for the Knights. Same inning, Assumption's Charlotte Nidgey showing off her power into deep center field for a two-run blast. The Knights jump out to a 3-0 lead in a blink of an eye, and they were not done. Into the bottom of the second, Assumption keeps it rolling. Helen Sons with the RBI single back up the middle into center field. That scores Catherine Snyder. The Knights are rolling. They're up 5 to nothing. In the circle, Leah Morrow was dealing. She struck out 10 batters in the game. As we fast forward to the top of the seventh now, Sato, a hard hit shot to third. No problem for Callie Miller for the last out. Assumption wins it 5-0. to zero. Felt pretty comfortable over there. I was, yeah, to be honest, last year, first time here ever. Uh, I was nervous the first game. You know, I adjusted. We had three games to play here, right? Uh, but the environment's crazy here. It's fun. Um, and... We, we came out and did a great job at the beginning. That helps take the nerve away right away, right? If I if we can score five runs up front um, in those first couple innings, I feel pretty comfortable our defense and Liam are going to shut them down. We've been here before, and we're really prepared for this game. We've been working at it, and the last couple of days we've been practicing to face Sato, and we just came out really ready to play. And I've seen lots of players come to Assumption and come here. We've been here the past couple years. I've seen my sisters come here, and so it is nerve-wracking being here, but I think we're all prepared, and we've seen people do it, and we're ready for it. Assumption takes on Waller Catholic tomorrow at 5 o'clock for a spot in the 3A title game. The Northeast Rebels getting ready for top-seeded Regina Catholic. Top of the fourth, Northeast, Ella Trenkamp, the solo homer, and that would tie the game up at two. The Young Rebels without a single senior on the roster showing that they are for real. Staying in the top of the fourth, Northeast, runners on second and third. Piper Isabel grounds into a fielder's choice, but that allows Ali Kane to score. Northeast leads this one three to two. Bottom of the seventh, game tie. Regina's Ali Clark connects on the first pitch for a leadoff single. Sticking in the bottom of the seventh, two outs, winning run on third for Northeast. Leah Mangelson, the great play at third and the out. This game is going into extra innings. Into the bottom of the eighth now. Regina back up to bat. It's going to be Kennedy, Connor with a base hit into left field. Gabby Supple scores the game winner. Northeast loses a thriller 4-3. I think we played overall super well. We played clean. That's all you can ask for out of us. Uh, we did really well. We were bailing up balls too. But yeah, I'm very proud. We're super close. Uh, we love each other. We're close outside of the sport of softball. We're so close in age that it's just we are so united and we're so together. We just have the best team chemistry. We just told them after the game how much we love them and, and how, I mean, they had an improbable run. They had three ranked teams to get to this point and then uh, battled with number one Regina. So extremely proud. Obviously, we're disappointed, but what a run. One more score. Bettendorf, Bettendorf ends its season with a win over Valley 8-3 to, to finish in fifth place in Class 5A. A very impressive season for the MAC champions. It's an all-MAC matchup in the 5A state semifinals. 33 and 6 Muscatine taking on 31 and 9 Pleasant Valley. Muscatine comes in following a 3-0 win over Ankeny. Mara Chalupa was dynamite. A complete game with eight strikeouts. For PV, they dethroned the defending state champs, Joaquin Northwest 5-4 in the quarterfinals. The teams met twice during the season, and PV won both games. Now it's win or go home. There's no secrets either way, so then really it just comes down to who can make the plays. You know, they know us, we know them, and, and who can compete and do what we need to do. So, you know, it's always great to see your conference do well, and, and if it's PV, we're just going to attack it like any other game and just keep pushing forward. We're, we're ready to compete. Whoever we get, we're ready to step on the field and compete and give it our all. Oh, we couldn't be happier. It's going to be a dogfight from the first pitch. Um, we know... Everything there is to know about Muscatine, they know a bunch about us. Uh, so I think it's really going to be come down to who wants it more. But I wouldn't call it revenge. I would call it more um, 
determination and, and commitment to us, you know, and going out here and playing PD softball. Uh, it doesn't matter who we face. A 5A state title game spot on the line. The Muskies and Spartans hit the diamond at 1 o'clock. We will be there and have highlights and post-game reaction.